looking at nature away from noise pollution right and also from the constructions drillers and machines we can stay for hours in here we are on the top of the mountain baby you can see this tower from like miles away this place red tower it is so we still made it to the red tower at the end of the day and it's an uphill battle look this is uh, where we came from but it's worth it this is a famous landmark here in Malta okay check this out let me move this uh, mask since uh, there's no people here just with my tour guide right there she's taking pictures Hello. right there Charlie ça va bien ça va bien I don't know how to très bien okay très bien that's my French guys so and she's she knows some of these what's it Kivinti you see I asked her how are you she said I'm good <laughs> so uh, well this tower uh, has been renovated as you can see it's it's a mint condition and uh, I wonder if uh, they do like organize uh, like things in here let's check this out it's, it's, yeah, it's like a like a storage room or what it's not nothing here maybe an office ah again of the Foresta 2000 so it's like a it's like a not a forest really but it's like we call it Masjar in Maltese I don't know the word in English but it's like a small forest kind of thing with all this flora and fauna that you'll find uh, over here this place check this out some information in here it's Santa Garas Tower that's the original name but also known as the Red Tower here it was built in 1649, my friends, by the Knights of St. John. They did a lot of work over in here in Malta. And you see, 2020, so it's last year, they did um, uh, restoration. Okay, which uh, I can see that it's pretty much done. Well, even the stairs here. And you can see this tower from like, I don't know, with miles. the villages, yeah, miles away. Because it's in, uh, in the uphill. Let's check it out. I'm gonna go up. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Check it out. Let's see. Let's do the thumb yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wonder what uh, we can find in here. Maybe it's a museum nowadays. I don't know. I don't really know. So this is like a bridge all these towers they do have like a dig sorry like a ditch and uh, like in previous videos that I did I apologize if you can hear some wind because look where we are we are on the top of the mountain baby this, there's no better view than in here definitely gonna snap some pictures go check them out on my Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram link down in the description below but look at this we can stay for hours in here looking at nature finally away from noise pollution right which we have a lot in the south area and also from the constructions drillers and and uh, and uh, machines right but it's funny you know some Every country has its own but this place let's see what they are doing in here so it's locked but let's see uh, so it was built okay like I said 1649 and that's in Maltese but it was uh, built by Grandmaster Jean-Paul Lascaris Castellar which is not that kind of famous 
like the Derwan and the and Lavalette as Grandmaster, but certainly he left he left a, a jewel for us and the people who come and watch and check out this place. So there's a car park, so you can come with the car as well. If you're ever here, you can uh, get uh, rent a car or there's uh, this company. We're not gonna mention any company because. They are not sponsoring this video, right? So, must be fair. Uh, but you can uh, easily come here as well, even with the bus. You can stop like a few meters away and you can walk it, do some exercise. But I wonder, I wonder what, uh, what's inside. Again, there's no signs what's, what one can find inside. When they open, there's no signs. I would love to see these things, you know, um, uh, being listed in here because look, might, I might be interested, we might be interested in going inside. Maybe they have a shop, I don't know what's in there. But let me know if you find out, I will check out after I edit this video. Uh, if, I found, uh, if I find something uh, related to this. But this is the tower from this side. We're gonna check out also on the other side. Cheers, cheers, cheers. There isn't much here. Is it? So this is the same information, right? Yeah. Let me just check out. So this is tower from this side. Wow. The location that they chose to build this is on point because this was helping the uh, the uh, the enemies, okay? Who are coming with the with the ships okay entering this side of Malta which is the north side of Malta like I said and uh, the watchtowers you can see they were very helpful so they know uh, that the enemy is coming and then they can report report it to their uh, leadership so logistically you know the Knights of St. John are very were very very clever in the battle and how they how they um, position these towers all around the island, also uh, the other island. So there's Comino right there, and behind it there's Gozo. Okay, so this Comino, famous for the blue, light, the, the the Comino uh, in, in uh, that we know it in the summer, it's impact. Okay, so the Blue Lagoon is there. Behind it is the smallest island, which I really love as well. Shout out to Gozo and the Gozotans maybe who are watching. Beautiful. So this is, guys, this is called Girna. Okay, Let's zoom on it. So this is called Girna, okay. And uh, they use it either for storage, you know, for uh, people who are farmers, they can store their tools in there. And, uh, and perhaps they can put other things in there. So it used to be much more popular. It, you, you can still see some of these uh, girnas around in, uh, in countryside in the wild, but not, not so much these days. Not so much because people are maybe building better than... Uh, it's like an igloo, right? Igloo with stones. Um, uh, but yeah, this is it. This is the view from the Santa Garas Tower, the Red Tower. And let me tell you, this place is something and during the, 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 the era that we are facing uh, one can come here I presume that a lot more people will be here if it wasn't the situation we're in but um, uh, that's, uh, that's benefit also for us locals or maybe people who are coming in Malta there's not, not that much influx of tourists so they can enjoy better they can take better pictures and one can stay also in the hotels in here, there are a couple of hotels. You can catch the ferry uh, here, a few, few meters, few, few kilometers or two away. And uh, you can go to Gozo from here. So uh, yeah, this is the north side for you, my friends. And uh, more to come, okay, with the videos. I really wished that I could show you inside, but more, most places, like these are closed and uh, let's check what's in here ok 
okay maybe there's like storage or again maybe for water and water pumps or anything like that or like electricity so yeah this is uh, the view that I'm gonna enjoy I'm gonna take some pictures hopefully you enjoy this video and most of all you have enjoyed and you are enjoying this fantastic view okay from the camera it doesn't do it justice for sure you gotta be here and enjoy this thing and we're talking about February guys it's like summer it's no clouds at all no clouds no noise this is a great place to be you want to relax get get some food maybe a picnic and enjoy the wild in Malta that's it for this video thanks for watching guys from the beautiful uh, Santa Gara's Red Tower it's called the Red Tower this is it for this video thanks and I'll see you on the next one Peace.